have you ever wondered why some people seem to easily find love while others struggle? We often hear stories of whirlwind romances or love at first sight. But what if I told you that love isn't always about the grand gestures or perfect timing? The truth is, finding love often starts from within. It's about nurturing your own capacity for love and compassion, rather than just searching for the right person. So when it comes to love, it's not about finding the right person, but rather about becoming the right person. The first step towards finding love is to be in a state of love. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's about cultivating a loving mindset, filling your heart with so much love that it overflows to the people around you. It's about learning to love yourself first, recognizing your worth and understanding that you are deserving of love. It's about radiating positivity, kindness and care, just as the sun radiates warmth. This state of love is magnetic. You see, love attracts love, just as a magnet attracts similar energies. So when you are in a state of love, you naturally attract people who are also loving, people who value kindness and positivity, just as you do. But remember, being in a state of love doesn't just happen, it's a conscious choice, a daily practice. So choose love every day. When you fill your heart with love, it overflows to the people around you. The foundation of love is self-love. This is a truth that is often overlooked, but it is crucial in the pursuit of finding love. Self-love is the act of recognizing your own worth, treating yourself with kindness and nurturing your own needs. It's about being your own best friend, your own cheerleader and your own confidant. One way to practice self-love is through acceptance. This means acknowledging that you with all your quirks and individualities are unique and valuable just as you are. Another way is by taking care of yourself. This could be through maintaining a balanced diet, getting regular exercise, or ensuring you have enough rest. Remember to forgive yourself too. Everyone makes mistakes, but it's important to learn from them instead of beating yourself up. Lastly, pursue what makes you happy and helps you grow. When you love what you do, you love yourself more. When you love yourself, you set the standards for how others should love you. Being in a state of love naturally leads to spreading positivity. It's like a gentle ripple in a pond that grows wider and wider, reaching out to touch others with its calming influence. So, how do we spread love around us? Well, one way is through acts of kindness. These don't have to be grand gestures. Even the smallest act can make a big difference. Hold the door open for someone, share a warm smile, or offer help when you see someone in need. Another way is by being a good listener. Sometimes all a person needs is to be heard, to know that their feelings and thoughts matter. By lending an ear and offering a comforting word, you're showing them that they're not alone, that they are loved. Finally, expressing gratitude can spread love. By appreciating the good in your life, you're radiating positivity and inviting others to do the same. The love you give to others is the love that comes back to you. Healthy relationships with family and friends teach us about love. They are the bedrock upon which we build our understanding of what it means to love and be loved. These connections show us the value of trust, the comfort of support and the beauty of caring for another. Through these relationships we learn to navigate the joys, the challenges and the complexities of love. We experience the thrill of shared laughter, the reassurance of a comforting word, and the strength derived from standing together in the face of adversity. We also learn important lessons about boundaries, about giving and receiving, about compromise and negotiation. These lessons are invaluable as they guide us in our quest for romantic love. Remember, it's not just about finding the right person, but also about being the right person. And being the right person means understanding how to love in a healthy, positive way. The love we experience in our relationships with friends and family shapes our understanding of romantic love. A loving state attracts people who are also loving. Think of it as an invisible magnet, an energy field that draws in similar energies. When you are brimming with love, kindness and positivity, you become a beacon for those who value the same, you know, like attracts like. And so when you radiate love, you attract love. But remember, patience is key. Love isn't a race. It's not about who crosses the finish line first. It's about taking the time to truly understand yourself and what you want out of a relationship. It's about waiting for the right person, not the right now person.
And while you're patiently waiting, be open. Be open to new people, new experiences, new possibilities. Love has a funny way of surprising us, of showing up when we least expect it, often in the most unexpected places or people. Love will come when the time is right, often when you least expect it. Remember, love is a journey, not a destination. It's a path we tread, peppered with lessons that shape us, helping us to evolve into our best selves. A significant part of this journey is learning from heartbreak. It might sting, it might leave us feeling desolate, but it's within these moments of profound discomfort that we truly grow. Heartbreak teaches us resilience. It shows us our capacity to heal, and it gives us a clearer understanding of what we seek in love. It allows us to reflect on ourselves and the relationships we've had to identify what worked and what didn't. It's a tough teacher, but the lessons are invaluable. But heartbreak isn't the end all. It's just a chapter in the larger narrative of our love journey. We move forward, we grow, and with each step we become more attuned to ourselves and our needs. We learn to love ourselves more, to value our worth, and to not settle for less. This self-love then radiates outwards, attracting love in return. Love isn't about finding that one person who completes you. It's about becoming a whole, complete person yourself, and then choosing to share your life with someone else. Love starts with you, it thrives within you, and then it reaches out to intertwine with another's. So keep walking this path, keep growing, keep loving. As you walk on this path of love, you become ready to share your life with someone else.